Chamfering solid objects. A chamfer is a, squ a small square edge on the edges of objects. It's a little taper to it. Um, we usually take these off so people like in metal don't get cut, for example. Um, we have a, just a box here. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to choose in the modified chamfer. And hit that down arrow and make sure we pick the chamfer here. And when I come along, I'm going to pick on the box. And um, the first thing we want to do is pick down here and say, well, which uh, select their first line? And I'm going to pick the distance. And I'm going to pick it as a one inch so we can see, and the second one is a one inch. Now, let's zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to pick. And when I pick on it, it highlights all four sides. If that's the, one of the sides I want, I'm going to say uh, next. Because in reality, we need two surfaces. And the edge between the two surfaces will be the one chamfered. So I'll say next. And now is this the one I want? I'll say OK. Now I specify that chamfer distance. I'll say one. And I'll say one on the second edge. So that's from the the pretend corner back to each direction is one inch. I'll select that edge again and I'll hit enter and now I got a one inch chamfer that goes back on, on that edge. Now we also have another command called chamfer edge. If we go up into our uh, into our solid tab and go to solid editing we go down here and we go to chamfer edge now, with this one, it says select an edge. So we're going to pick this top edge here. And I pick that edge. And uh, we can say, oh, all right. So we picked that surface, essentially. And, and so I said, OK. Uh, I'll take an enter on that. And accept uh, the distance. And uh, I'll go distance. And I'm going to specify it to be uh, the base chamfer of, uh, let's go to 0.5 so you can see that well. And the other distance, 0.5. And now, we're going to say, all right, now, uh, press enter to accept the chamfer distance. And we went around and we put in a chamfer here. I don't know if you can see that that well. We put in a chamfer right there. Now, let's go and do the hole chamfer. I go up and do a chamfer edge. I select that hole. And I'm going to say OK. I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to accept that same chamfer distance I had before. So I chamfered that hole. If I come along over here, uh, here we want to put a chamfer on this particular uh, between these two items in this case this needs to be unioned all in one piece so if I do a list and I select down it I find out that's all one 3D solid so now I go up to the chamfer edge and I'm going to pick on this object right here um, so I'll go I'll go with, uh, well, let's go with this bottom of the, of the cylinder here. And I'm going to come down and, and I'm going to say distance. And I'll make it kind of big. I'm going to go with uh, 1.5 so we can see. I'm going to hit uh, the second distance, 1.5. And I'll hit enter. And I'll hit enter to accept. And now I put like a weld type. Now this is, works really good for welds, for example. You can see I have what would look like a weld on these two things. Uh, is where this is where counter counter sink sink. This would be looking for a weld, and so the chamfer edge works well. Uh, it gives us all kinds of options, and so a chamfer edge puts on a beveled um, like a, a beveled edge to, between uh, two surfaces.